Hello, today we've got this to play around with, which is an air traffic control transponder. This cost me £9 and I bought it because the case may come in handy for an electronics project. Now, this came on a pallet of goods from an airline which was uh, retiring some of their aircraft and these parts were redundant. I was told that most of these parts were beyond economical repair. However, this one was still sealed in its anti static bag with this cover in place, revealing these very expensive looking connectors and also the warranty seal on the back was on from a rather recent repair, so it may actually be a repair, I'm not sure um, but there is a strong electrical burning smell which was immediately apparent when I took, took it out of the bag and also there is some damage to the bottom corner here, which may have happened in transit, or it may have been like that already, and the reason why it was BUR. But let's take it apart and see what's inside. I noticed it smells very strong and this cover was very difficult to get off but the burning smell really caught at the back of your throat So now the unit consists of the receiver at one side, transmitter in the middle, and the main logic board at the other side, and the power supply at the front. There's nothing obvious at first that's burnt out. Poor. So it's definitely burnt out. Poor. Hmm, quite complex. Cool. Right, time to go and get some more tools. Somebody else has actually done a tear down video of this, which I found before I actually edited this video. I'll put a link to that down below. He goes into more detail than what I do. This is more uh, to see what's um, gone wrong. I will look at the circuit post at the end of the video. Show them in more detail. to be the main board. Uh, I'll get a cup out. It took me a while to figure out how this came apart. Code of 1997. Yeah. It was manufactured in 1997. All the date codes on the chips reflect that as well. Look at that. So it's about 23 years old. Oh. 
Oh, definitely stinks. Is it that? Where it's coming from, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't pick up the audio very well, so I'll uh, make some text notes, make a few here. comments. Now this thing looks a very 1970s design, this transmitter module. <laughs> very big expensive capacitors, but it is very 1970s design. Although there is a couple of chips in there which are dated 1997. The design of it though looks very 70s. I'll look at these circuit boards in more detail where to um, no, I can't see anything obvious that's blown up. Power supply. It really does smell. Mm. It does point out making my throat so It's some power supply board, but what I don't know. Well, the smell is definitely coming from this side of the transmitter module, which contains beryllium power transistors, which uh, that is very toxic, so I'm not going to take it apart any further. It could have potentially blown. So I will leave that cover in place. If you want to see what's inside of it, um, look in the other teardown video, which I will link down below.
well, now that it's in bits, let's have a look at the circuit bars in more detail. I'm starting to think this was actually repaired and the smell's actually lingering from a power that was being replaced. We've got here. Yeah, I'm at loss to think to see where that burning smell is coming from, but it's not this one. No. So what all these adjustments are for. Bot receiver RF it says. Hmm. There's the other RF module. Um, 1970s design by the look of it. Here's the power supply board. And there's MOSFETs. There's nothing obviously burnt. Maybe it just smells like that, I don't know, but not that. Finally, here's the main board. Uh, 64k Ebram. What's that? Militaristic gradle rices. More reproms. Ram chips. What are these things? Can't make them out. Well. 
8 to C196 as a men's super yacht. What are these chips? That's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with some uh, photos of the circuit roads.